what two step violin is? Well, semi recently, Brett and Eddie made this video with a producer where they were trying to make lo fi beats with a violin element involved. Dude, that's so sh Bro, it sounds so old. What the f? This is stupid. Let me try again. Them for a while now, since I think mid 2020, which by the way was almost a year ago. I think they just did the lo fi melodies with the violin in that, and I thought that was a pretty cool video idea. But then I had a thought I'm a guitarist, and there's a lot more you can do on a guitar that you can't do on a violin. <laughs> you can probably have a lot more innovative harmonic techniques, tapping's a lot easier, articulations are different, etc, etc, etc. That, and a whole slew of other things, most of which I can't do. So, dear internet, I had a grand old idea, and that was, instead of using any of the synths that were on GarageBand that, uh, you know, were made specifically to make music production easier, I would instead one-up two-set violin by making the entire lo-fi track with nothing but samples recorded by me and my acoustic guitar. Take that, Brett and Eddie. Hey, welcome to day one, hopefully the first and only day of recording and making my guitar lo-fi. As you can see, it's exactly as presented in the title. I just have my acoustic guitar, my Colin Clark. I got this baby like two days ago. I might actually record a demo video of this thing, but uh, that's in the future. By the way, this is my first time attempting to make a lo-fi beat at all, and like, my knowledge of the concept of lo-fi is like the friggin' anime girl that's on YouTube. I think it's the Chilled Cow live stream, and like, a couple two-set violin videos, so, um, wish me luck. Probably gonna do, like, a 2-4, kind of. By 2-4, I mean that you're just supposed to count the beat as 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two, instead of 1-2-3-1-2-3 one, two, three, one, two, three, or 1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4, one, three, one, three, etc, etc, etc. I like the way this kick sounds better, but I like the way this snare sounds better. I have a really sensitive pickup that can, like, pick up, like, little swipes on the face, which is why I don't want to do this because you can kind of hear the, uh, that sound. Maybe if I just record them separately and then edit it together? That sounds really fucking manufactured though, doesn't it? Let's see how it sounds. Normally a kick drum gets overshadowed by other elements, so if it's not dry enough, then it tends to be okay. <laughs> I had completely forgotten the fact that it was going to be overshadowed by all the other crap in the lo-fi and was trying to get it to be completely perfect because I'm a fucking idiot. I'm gonna have to do a lot of audio editing that I do not know how to do in order for to do this project, so uh, try not to have too much echo. Let me just- so the gain is basically how much of the sound gets uh, put in to the computer and basically the more there is the more echo and the more minute details you're gonna catch. I'm still hearing that like swiping sound that can go in between. I think I'm just gonna go with the... We are literally just on the drum beat and I am already struggling. Dear God help me. Okay, so I have the basic idea of what I want to do. Um with like the drum beat. I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible. Now I'm, I guess I just have to like EQ it. I'm not sure how to do EQs. I think it's like, like maybe boosting the bass, cutting some of the mids, whatever. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do with like pickups anyway, right? So I'm just gonna experiment and see what happens. Okay, now we're getting into the part where we're actually talking about the, you know, the music. Jesus Christ, it has taken me 24 minutes of just fiddling around with like <laughs> drum beats and shit. Jesus Christ. I guess we'll just go with like a normal 1564 progression. 
Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, basically it's like, My explanation in the video that I recorded back then was pretty bad, so uh, let me explain now. A 1, 5, 6, 4 progression, let's say in the key of C, is just going to be A, C, G, A minor, and F progression. Which, if you lay them out in a row like that, will be shown as 1, 5, 6, 4. Am I seriously gonna write a song with literally just three fucking chords in it? Jesus Christ, I feel dirty, like pop music has touched my soul and stolen my... I really sound like so elitist right now. It's a really, really common progression that like thousands and thousands of songs use them. Trust me, once you can play those four chords and you know how to use a motherfucking capo, you can play most pop songs. Which is also why as a person who doesn't really do a lot of pop music, I seem kind of offended by this concept in the video. I promise I'm not that much of a classical elitist. I, it, I have no excuses. And then this is the one where I'm really gonna need to mess with the audio just so it doesn't sound like Brett Yang's lo-fi. You're probably looking for an explanation, but basically what happened there is that uh, he used like a string synth and strings just don't work very well. So that that's why it sounds like a torturous nightmare with all that editing in that terrible, terrible uncanny valley effect. This is so much harder than I thought it was gonna be, my god. This is the progression that I actually ended up going with. Coming up with a melody is probably the most difficult part of this. I think I'm about, Jesus, I'm like an hour and a half in and uh, uh, yeah, I have about eight bars of melody here. I'm trying to base it off of um, Eric Satie, Gymnopedie 1 a little bit. I was really surprised about this, but the melody was actually the shortest part of it. I guess the people that say that the melody is the hardest either have had a lot of practice with this kind of thing, or, uh, you know, are doing something else than literally only using an acoustic guitar. Because the amount of time that I spent fiddling around with, like, the EQ settings and the knobs and the gain and the whatever, it took forever! I'm not saying that this is difficult, because honestly, it really wasn't. It's just that I'm kind of a dumbass and I didn't watch any tutorials. In the end, it's just a lot of trial and error. But right, melody. I kind of loosely based it off of Gymnopédie number no. one by Eric Satie. writing songs, I tend to do this thing where I start with an established theme that I know and then I slowly kind of go off into my own thing. It's more or less a mental exercise just to get my brain warmed up for the big thing. Anyway, my guitar teacher makes me improvise a lot, so it wasn't that big of an issue. At a certain point, I had the bright idea of using the pre-made EQ settings that are on GarageBand. Why did it take me so long? I don't know. I wanted to have a very muted piano-like sound for the chords or basically anything that didn't make it sound like a guitar. Because when you're plucking a string, it's a very sharp sound that you don't want like attacking the ears when you're listening to a lo-fi beat. It's supposed to be very inoffensive, very chill. Now, if you look at all my tracks here on GarageBand, you'll see these two tracks called Swiping and Fake Rain. I don't really know what the swiping is trying to imitate. I think I've heard it on lo-fis a lot, like swiping on random things and just making that kind of ASMR-esque sound. And then the fake rain is also pretty self-explanatory. As for the swipe, well, there's this thing called a pickup that's inside pretty much every guitar that kind of helps you record from within the guitar, and uh, this one actually has three. So if you put up the gain, which is basically how much of the sound gets put into the machine, then it gets super, super sensitive to the point where you can hear stuff like and that's exactly what I did. As for the rain tapping, I literally just did this. Simple. What ended up happening is that I did a lot of audio editing, so with the swiping, I kind of made it really sensitive so that it would come out a lot. And as for the rain tapping, I just kind of cut all the bassy stuff that made it sound like percussion, and so it just sounded like rain. And yeah, that's how to make a lo-fi beat with literally just an acoustic guitar, I guess. My conclusion? 
It's not hard to make lo-fi. Like seriously, all you really need is just a very basic understanding of chord structure and the ability to improvise a simple melody that's inoffensive and in the same key. So yeah, this project was really, really fun and I'm probably gonna do more production stuff in the future, though I'm gonna stick to my main finger style type thing. Check out the actual lo-fi right here and my friend that did the anime-esque visuals for it. Check her out at Pecan Art. She is an amazing commission artist. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. And this is PDB Ash, signing off.